What's up YouTube, Kyra back up in here with another video and today we have a huge pickups video. One of my largest hauls yet, I would say in a very long time. This is a big accumulation of clothes. This is all from some, some beautiful sponsors that we'll get into later in this video, as well as all my New York shopping. So this is a New York pickups video as well. And just a whole bunch of other things I had sprinkled in from like an accumulation of like trips that I went to, other things of that nature. So. You already know, crazy, crazy, crazy pickups. Let's get straight into this video. Before we get into all of that, I would love to get into today's sponsor, which is Farfetch. Thanks to Farfetch again for sponsoring this video to hit the boy up for another banger. You already know, we're gonna go into why Farfetch is so special right about now. So Farfetch actually acts as a middleman to a multitude of other smaller boutiques across the internet. This is what makes Farfetch so special is that they house an influx of inventory because they have all of these smaller boutiques inventory at their disposal as well. So they have the largest selection of product as well as sizing. So you're ensured to find everything that you actually want out of an online retailer so it's amazing another thing is that it's so important to support small businesses and this is you doing it without even really thinking about it because they go and source the inventory from other people across the world so that you don't have to go <laughs> you act in good faith when you're purchasing basically so you're helping that small boutique in germany if you will buy from their stock and make sure that they keep afloat during the pandemic especially at a time right now it's just really special to see stuff like that happen you can use the code kyron 10 yt which will get you 10 percent off of your first order on farfetch all of the intricacies and details that you need to know will be in the description box below so if you want to know exactly how you can apply that discount code all you have to do is check out the description box below it'll have all the hyperlinks of the items that I got from this video from Farfetch as well as all of the rules and regulations if you will so first off we have the receipt from Farfetch that they graciously put in my package and both of these were actually from this boutique right here this is the locations that they are present in Ibiza is one of them <laughs> Milano as well so yeah just a European based boutique so I'm very happy to support them at a time like this like the other package I have like a plenty it's a cool little side bag if you want to use it just like a little shopping bag if you want to go get tomatoes and stuff at the grocery store i don't know i would definitely use this though i'd probably keep this at meg's house but going into the first item before we get lost in our train of thought here this is the rick owens balaclava i would call it so this is it this is what it looks like very simple a lot of people would think but i just love rib knit i'm a huge fan of rib knit this is from the fall winter 21 season I'm not even gonna act like i'm about to pronounce that properly so here you go <laughs> Um, and yeah, just really, really ecstatic to have this in my collection. I've always wanted one. A person that really made me interested in getting this was uh, my friend Romel. He's had this for a while for winters and it just looks so great on him. Obviously, a lot of you guys would say, oh, you could probably get something similar to this on like a, a regular retailer, like a normal probably nylon one or a polyester one, but the rib knit just added an essence of luxury to me. So I just really appreciated that as well. I had a Nike one um, that I probably lost uh, getting too saucy. So this will definitely be a great replacement for that. And it's a lot more like discreet, just all black. And if you know, you know, type of thing, you only have those like two lines that let you know that it's Rick on the inside right here. So yeah. So this will be just great for in the winter if I want to keep cozy as well as like having a mask and all the other things in the winter. It's just not really practical. So having something like this, like you'll you'll get what you have to do done without having to worry about a mask and everything like that. So really excited to have something like this. I'll have it on as a try and clip. Let's get into the next item, which is crazy that I'm even able to have these in my hands. I never thought I would ever have these boots. I'll get more into it as we dive into the item. <laughs> what would one of these far-fetched videos be without Rick, right? Rick Owens, you guys already know, one of my favorite designers, if not my favorite. Got a huge, heavy box from him. Not from him, from Farfetch. But we have, are you guys ready? I don't even think this is expected, but 
the kiss boots. I did it, I did it. I entered this lane of fashion. I just feel like I'm at a point where I'm down to elevate and experiment with a lot of things. This is definitely the highest point of that, I would say. I tried them on a while ago. Um, it wasn't necessarily a colorway that I would personally enjoy, longevity wise, just cause it had the silver. But now with the all black matted out, black grill, black everything, except for the clear heel. In an ideal world, I would have the black heel, but it was just from so many seasons ago that I don't think that's actually gonna be in in rotation like market wise for a while so i opted for this and i'm beyond happy with having this in my collection as far as styling something like this it's not something that i could see myself wearing every single day this is definitely in an event based shoe I plan on wearing this like eventually once I start doing more like fashion week things or other things like that. Like when I dive more into like those deeper realms of fashion and going to events like that where you really are being more experimental and testing your limits and your style range and just like being a bit more extravagant. I feel like that's a boot that will just hold its own in that regard. I'm really excited to put together. Whoa, they're heavy. <laughs> Um, I'm really excited to put outfits together with them, man. Like, honestly, really, really crazy. Obviously not a, like everyone's taste. I'm not telling everyone that they should go out and buy this because it's not for everyone. Like, I'd even think it would be for me per se, you know? But I tried it on. I could see myself styling it for events and other things of that nature when I'm trying to be a bit more flamboyant for sure. And it works for me and I like it a lot. Adds a plenty, like a good amount of height. Really, really, really obscure in its own right. It's it's beautiful. It's a beautiful piece of footwear. Rick really tests my limits as a consumer and then also in my style personally because every time I have a piece, I'm like, damn, like how am I gonna put this together with other things in my closet? And how am I gonna execute what I have in mind uh, stylistically? So I'm really excited to put that together with other things in my wardrobe and just like really cultivating an image that I'm proud of. So yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really, really excited to wear those, honestly. Um, like I said, it's kind of testing the lines of like gender fluidity and everything like that. So if you're not comfortable with that, I completely understand. But for me, it's something that I was down to dive into. I'm talking a lot about this just because I feel like it might be a shock for some people, but for other people, if you're with it, you're with it. If you're not, you're not, I completely understand. I personally love them. I'm excited to possibly wear those like when we go to fashion weeks and stuff like Megs and I are planning to go Paris Fashion Week this this coming January, hopefully, fingers crossed. If everything goes well, then that's what our plan is. But that's an occasion where I would break those up. You know what I mean? So on to the next item. Those are crazy. I'm so excited with those, like insane, insane. All that being said, thank you to Farfetch. Really appreciate them. You could do, you could shop so many different styles. Like you could shop up and coming designers. Um, you could shop main big heavy hitter designers such as Rick Owens, like I did. Um, as well as they even have like a vintage or pre-owned section on the site too. They even have like sneakers if you want because they're powered by stadium goods. Anything you need, check out Farfetch, whether it be large high-end items or even small scale, like if it's a Nike or anything like that. Farfetch got you covered. Really appreciate them once again. Let's get on to the next item. Can't believe I forgot to show you guys these, but since as a constellation prize for me not getting anything at the Chrome store in New York when I came back to Montreal, I ended up snagging this pair of Chrome Hearts glasses. I've always wanted a pair, a big influence for me stylistically is Young Thug. Like I always seen him wear these and then um, it kind of influenced me to get them subconsciously, but I never knew if they would like actually suit my face, but sunglasses always tend to suit my face. So I was just wondering if like reading glasses did as well. I don't need these, I don't need a prescription. And some people might think that's kind of like outrageous to like get such an expensive pair of glasses for non-reading purposes. But stylistically, I just feel like they add a lot. They're really nice on my face. They suit it quite well. They smarten me up a little bit in certain scenarios, like when I, need to which is an ongoing theme and a lot of things that i'm buying mature you know maturing with your style growing with it understanding what pieces kind of complement that and i feel like these are a great addition to my sunglasses collection nice sunglass case as well like the leather is what you would find on like chrome hearts is like actual leather pants and like the crosses all of that that's just for the eyeglass uh just for the eyeglass case which is very impressive also, I think these are, it's like 22 karat gold, gold on the side, which is insane. Really nice, love these. 
All right, so we're gonna start off with a few accessories just to run through them real quick. I don't, like, you guys know me. I'm personally a big fan of accessories just because they could take a very simple outfit and elevate it and make it look like the whole outfit is very well curated even though it's relatively simple. So that being said, first item, we got this out when I was in New York, Amélion d'Or. Um, low profile fitted hat i got this because it was drop day for at ald when i went and they had this beautiful almost like felt like fitted cap low profile i can't really toss it on right now because i have my hair in a bun but on the try on clips you guys will see it but love the in-store experience there i went for a 758 because i have a big ass head <laughs> and um yeah i just love the way the hat is low profile it's a bit more discreet compared to like your classic 5950 hat and and yeah, I just really love the way this turned out. Love the in-store experience. ALD is definitely gonna become a, a namesake brand for a lot of people, I feel like, especially with like that whole style coming to the forefront for a lot of people. It's getting people that were in streetwear, transitioning out of streetwear, getting away from sneakers, getting away from loud, uh, grotesque prints and everything like that. This is like the mature lane that I feel like a lot of those people that were like 17, 18 buying Supreme, they're gonna go into this route now, which is like loafers, like penny loafers, carpenter pants, sweater vests, other things of that nature. I feel like that's what ALD is gonna provide to the future of like those people getting more into mature fashion. It's like the modern, Ralph Lauren that's what Joel proposed to me and I was like damn that's actually like a really well spoken statement I find so I got a bunch of hats I'm really abusing the amount of hats that I'm getting recently people but whatever I needed them clearly I was I was going crazy with hats here we are today okay so we got this NY MoMA hat this is like the classic tote bag warrior hat you guys already know I just didn't have one of these Megs has one I keep on stealing hers and I don't want to steal hers anymore um just because I just want to have my own I don't want to have to like annoy her and borrow hers all the time so now I have my own that I can wear um at my own discretion so here we go nothing really to say it's just like a, a New York Yankees hat in black with the MoMA on the side it's like 30 bucks something like um I think the ALD one was 70 bucks something like that and the kiss boots i went true to size and the balaclava is one size fits all just for reference going on to this one this is my first montreal expos hat that i've had in a very long time the last time last time i had one was back when i was into like snapbacks that whole era uh tumblr days kyron's tumblr days so this is like my ode to that. I've been looking for like something interesting. I thought I would be able to find it in New York, like something with like a pink under brim or anything like that. Cause I've been seeing a lot of like true New York content creators, such as like a 40 ounce van or like other people of that nature that have like these amazing fitted hats. We don't really have that offering out here. There's not a bunch of places to get fitted like that out here. And surprisingly, after my trip to New York, we were not lucky at all with finding any fitted in New York just because we weren't in the right places, I guess. Um, and then I came back here, went to Lids, and they had this here. Amazing, like a pink edition expos on black i don't even want to put it on i keep on forgetting my hair's in a bun but this is amazing i got a little curve going on with it it looks great it's fantastic i love it definitely one of my favorite hats and it's like showing love to my city it's cool i like it keeping on with the accessories we have my first piece of capital in a very long time just some socks very light i love the way these look they're very like classic old man socks got the smiley face on the back slowly acquiring items to become a tote bag warrior if i wish right got the boston's got the moma hat you already know the vibes <laughs> didn't buy that with that in mind but it, it's just it's funny now that i'm looking across my room i'm like huh moma hat capital socks boston's that's pretty funny but that's not really what my intention was with buying this i just love the quality of the sock like i said i'm a really big fan of knit this has a great quality knit to it and i love capital as well japanese americana sold sign me up bring me out bring me to the cash register i'm buying it love those so yeah that's all the accessories we're gonna get into more of the clothing pieces now really excited to showcase these to you Let's get straight into it. So this, we have a set that was sent to me by Spencer from Spencer Badu. I really appreciate him every time. He sent me this funny note. He was like, here's the pants to complete this, the set with my name on it. I didn't even know he was sending the pants. He just sent me the hoodie. He let me know about the hoodie. And then I didn't even know there was a full suit. And then now I have a full sweatsuit from Spencer Badu. Love it. I'm gonna go into the hoodie first. It's kind of like a tight 
it's like what a Nike tech is supposed to be. You know what I mean? This is like the highest end version of what that is supposed to be. So it's just like a perfected tight fitting sweatsuit, but the bottoms are relaxed, which is very important to me. I find like the Nike tech bottoms way too tight. Doesn't great give the best silhouette all the time, depends on your build. But like for me, I like relaxed sweatsuit bottoms, but this has like the tight upper relaxed bottoms. So it gives you that like triangle effect that you really want, Illuminati. <laughs> I don't even know why I did that. <laughs> but it gives you that triangle that is very flattering to the eye. I don't know if you guys know that tactic, but if you do this triangle look with your silhouettes of your outfits, it kind of elongates your proportions and it's just very flattering to the eye. I don't know what it is with triangles, but us as humans we gravitate towards that it just looks better like this i don't know i don't know the exact science behind it but it seems to work so tight upper with the hoodie love the way this looks i love the invisible pockets that he has right here barely see him but it's a great little pocket nice heavy duty hardware on the zipper spencer badu on the side great heavy duty zipper right there and just like a solid hoodie man nice intricate pattern work on the top of the hoodie right there with the Spencer Badu embroidery right there as well. And yeah, just great. I think even the back has a little back hit too and it goes over it. This is just a solid everyday black hoodie. I love zip hoodies. It's a match made for me and it has a great French terry to it. Sign me up, it's amazing. So also, like I said, the sweats to match that, they're kind of like a cargo sweat in a way because they have this like little front 3D pocket on the left. You could stash whatever you need in there, like your wallet, whatever. And then they have like regular pockets on the side. But like I said, oh, and a back pocket, which is really important. That's probably where I would put my wallet. And yeah, like I said, they have that like familiar zipper that I just showed you on the other one right here. And then, like I said before, the bottom actually kind of flares out. It's not even just straight wide. So it has this wide bottom and it also has a closure so that you can make it tighter if you wish. But great wide fit. They puddle so nice on the Bottegas. You guys have no clue. Just a great fit. Overall, this sweatsuit is probably one of my favorite ones. I'm definitely gonna be wearing it a lot in the fall season. Really excited to bust those out. Let's get straight into it. Into the next piece, that is. <laughs> so. This piece right here, I actually got from The Row. Beautiful, beautiful cashmere sweater. I got this on sale for a crazy price. I think it retailed at like $1,200 or something. I paid like 200, something like that. I was looking for a cashmere sweater for quite some time just because like I rarely have things that I could piece together that look very mature for going out in settings where it's not suit and tie, but it's also not like streetwear, you know? So I really, and most of the things that I have in that category are vintage. So like they might have stains on it, et cetera. So I really wanted something that was posh, very clean, almost like uh, Upper East Side, New York type beat. You know what I mean? So I feel like that's where the row really executes very luxurious, simplistic garments. Although this might look like just a regular sweater to you guys, which is, it is what it is. It just made to the best of its ability, really nice materials, great cut and a beautiful color that's not black or gray so all that being said it's executed well i understand why the row is so high priced it's like you get what you pay for and it's not meant for everyone it's meant for that one person that is like the the row consumer you know so i love what they do definitely one of my favorite like brands it's kind of expensive to dive into but if it's on sale i will partake <laughs> especially if i'm getting a savings like that love this sweater it's amazing so this piece right here, I got from Le Maire. Unwrap that for you guys. This is like their version of the fatigue pants in a slight way, just because of how the pockets are placed. I was intrigued because of the fit of them. They're just so wide. I'm a sucker for wide black trousers. So like I said, to have that pocket detailing that's very similar to the OG 107s. Like it's, it's like from here, you see the contrast stitching and then the bottom is just super wide, puddles over shoes, beautifully great little back pocket. And just the contrast stitching adds like a really nice element to it. I wouldn't normally like this on surface level, but when I tried it, I was like, oh, it's so discreet that you barely even notice it because it's like a brown contrast stitching. You like barely, barely notice it, but it adds a nice little touch of detail, which I really enjoy. They're just effortlessly nice. To me, like I said, you can never have enough black trousers, especially if they all serve a different purpose. I feel like stacking up on things that are like staples in your wardrobe 
is a necessity. So that's exactly why I got this Lamel pair of trousers. I love the brand. Uh, this is diving more into the things that I was saying from before, like classy attire that I could pair with, uh, with certain items in my wardrobe when I really need to like go out, but it's not super, super fancy, but on the cusp, you know what I mean? Or if I have meetings where I have to impress and look all dapper, then this is something that I would wear with like the sweater and other things of that nature. Loafers, you know, I'm getting mature now. Gotta, gotta dress the part. All right, and then this next one right here is getting more into like my fall attire. This is on my Gork Core tip, I would say. This is by Post Archive Faction, a brand that I've heard of through Giz for the most part. He was the first one that put me onto the brand. Focus Post Archive Faction. This is their little tag right here. Really nice. And I just love the nylon and the cut of this garment is insane. I love the back detailing. I'll show you guys that in a moment. And another great detail that I seen was like their right center and left wing parts of their brand. So I believe the right wing is kind of conservative. Is that the right term? The center is kind of like essentials or basics of a, I, I, I'm trying not to butcher it. I remember Giz talking about it a long time ago, so I'm trying to remember it. But I remember there's like two ends of the spectrum. There's the part of the brand that they go crazy with intricate details and cuts of their garments and it's just super wild and lots of incredible techniques that they use on their patterns and their finishings of their garment. And then on the other side, it's like more simplistic, more ready to wear, a lot of people could easily digest it type of thing. So that's like the two ends of their brand, but they're all under the same brand. It's just like they make it a bit easy to digest on this side and then a bit more intricate on the other side, which all across the board, it's all intricate and all very interesting. But I just find it very impressive that they offer a vast range like that. They offer three different ranges within the same brand. So they have this nylon pair of trousers and it looks super basic on the front and then the back because when the details start to come there's this little mini pocket that you could put like whatever you need probably like uh, a cell phone of sorts and that's hidden within so there's this little cell phone pocket right and then that's hidden within this other pocket that's on the thigh area and then that same little split leads to another front pocket and then that's the same as the same detailing that's on the other side and then that same pleated idea continues to this open flap on the back of the leg that adds such like a nice little dramatic detail that only few would notice it's like a nice little pleat and i love all the details in this pant it's so simple yeah it's done so well it's incredible like i as soon as i tried these on i was like yeah these are going home with me like i love them so much like I said, black pants, they could all look very similar, but if they all serve their purpose and they're all different in their own way, then I say stack up on things that you know and that you know play their part and role nicely and effortlessly. Do that. <laughs> So that is all the clothing pieces. We're gonna get into the last little stuff that would be part of my like monthly favorites section, let's say. So we're gonna we're gonna get into fragrance and a couple books that I got into while I was out in New York. It was so funny. I left New York without buying much. I left with hats and books. I didn't even buy anything really while I was out there. Chrome, the things that I wanted out of Chrome were not even available. I had to like order them while I was there. So I'm gonna have to wait until it's ready. You're gonna call me, I'm gonna put the order, etc. Hopefully that gets done in an efficient manner. Uh, and then other than that, yeah, like I said, I left with hats and books, but I'm, I'm more than happy with what I got because everything that I got is very me. So I'm enjoying it. So we'll get into the things that the non-clothing bits, the miscellaneous items. First miscellaneous item is from Le Labo. This is from when I went out in Toronto. I didn't want to get it in New York because I would have to pay like, I would have to pay in USD. And I just figured if I was going to Toronto after I went to New York, then I could just easily get it from there. They have this like little newspaper thing that comes with it. Found it pretty interesting. This is a perfect example of like, I was trying to be different and try different fragrances from Le Labo. And like, there's so many good ones. But all the ones that I like are so faint and they don't last for a very long time. And of course the one main one that everyone likes is the one that just like, it lingers for a while and it just smells the greatest. It's just like the most pungent yet not too in your face. It's just like almost very like warming. It's the one that everyone wants. So Santel 33, I joined the cult, I joined the gang. 
am I proud of myself? I mean, I guess like, you know, when you like when there, there's that term, like when the wheel's not broken, don't fix it. Literally, that's exactly what Santal 33 is. It's like, it's just a perfect fragrance. If you love that scent, then like, why not go for it type of thing? So I really enjoy it. It's like a sandalwood base, I would say. It kind of just follows you wherever you go. A lot of hotels that we've been staying at, like ones that are a bit more modern, such as like, or, or ones that we frequent or walk past, etc. when we were at public. There's similar like sandalwood notes out of like the things that they spray in the air there. At Four Seasons, same thing. It's just a very like comforting, rich smell. And it, it smells great. Like, I love it. I don't know if I want to make this like my everyday. That's why I'm trying to find another one just because it's expensive as hell. It's so pricey and there's no way of getting discounts on it. But I love it. It's great. The Labo hit me up. I know the, I know a couple uh, content creators that have been getting hit up by the Labo, but hit me up. Okay. I would love it. I would love some more of this or other ones to try. Overall, like, the in-store experience was great. Like, I love how professional they were in there. And it's like very personalized. Like they actually have your name on the actual bottle. Like there's my name, which is insane. But yeah, great fragrance, a little pricey, but I definitely feel like it's worth it if you want something that's a bit more like nighttime or like special occasion. Very nice. So I have this along with my Byredo that I've been frequenting right now, and I might get one more and then that'll probably be my rotation for the moment. So it's my two babies right here. Gotta smell good. That point blank smelling good is just as important as a nice outfit. Say it out loud, say it louder for the people in the back. It's very important it's along with everything else that is like your appearance and the way you project yourself to the world. Scent is a part of all of our senses, you know what I mean? So it's a very important thing, I would say. So get more into it if you guys are interested, like go to Sephora or whatever you pronounce it. Uh, try on different ones. You could go try different fragrances and stuff over there. If you guys are just getting into it, I feel like that's the best way. Or even like things like Scentbird and other things like that. Um, great ways of entering into the fragrance realm if you're new to it. We'll get into the last little nit bits of the miscellaneous items before we get out of here. Let's finish it up. So the last little bits that we got, first one is from Blue and Green. This is like one of my favorite like Americana, Japanese Americana stores, I would say. They had a great selection of stuff, nothing that I was personally in the market for, unfortunately, but they had this magazine slash book. And I was like, sell this to me right now. Apparently like it might've been just a display thing. I don't even think they were trying to sell it, but I was like, I need this right now. It's 40 bucks worth every penny. And it's just like covering vintage denim, Japanese denim, American denim beautiful this is so nice like I, I love like books and zines like this just because like not everyone not just because not everyone's gonna have it but it's just like a great coffee table book or just something to look through even for references of other things if you're like cooking up um, other garments you just want to see what the original one looked like and then also to have it photographed and presented in such a way where it's like literally like, this is what it is I love that so if you guys can find it online definitely go and get it yourself but one of my favorite pickups from out in New York, along with this book I got at a little gift shop. It's just like Murakami's, uh, one of Murakami's Rizzoli books. I mean, I don't know if he has other ones, but it's, it's cool. It's a little squishy. It's like different type of consistency for the padding of the hardcover. But yeah, Murakami book, interesting. Just having more books, always great to have, honestly, like just diving away from clothing sometimes it's a, a breath of fresh air when you just want to kind of just like have something tangible yet informative so that's the way i see books right now but anyway huge shout out to farfetch for sponsoring this video once again it was a long video but it was well needed and overdue because of how much stuff i had right now appreciate you guys once again i will have the discount code put it on the screen right now as well as all the information that you guys would need to have your full your first discounted order with farfetch in the description box below so make sure to go check that out once again <laughs> you can make sure to follow me on my instagram g-o-t-s-w-e-i-g-e -E, is where you can keep up to date with me more frequently i post fit pics this and that so that's what you can check out on there as well as like the video if you haven't already and 
subscribe if you're new. I'm gonna be back here with another one very shortly. I appreciate you guys for sticking by the channel. Once again, we're growing at such an immense rate. All you guys are supporting all of the videos all the time. So I just wanna really thank you guys once again. The vlogs have been doing great. I never thought I'd be vlogging, but people seem to like it. Along with the sit down videos, we're gonna have a good balance, a good rapport going on between us, you know? So I'm gonna see you guys on the next one. Peace.